What is going on everybody? Microsoft today had their service event and they showed off a bunch of new devices. Um, there's a lot to cover, so I'm gonna dive right into it. Welcome fellow nerds, this is The Blip, the show in which I cover news, highlights, and events from the world of tech. And as you know, Microsoft had their event today. But before we dive into that, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that like button as well. All right, let's dive right into it. All right, first up, let's jump right into it. The Surface Laptop 3. This is a new version of the Laptop 3 you can see here um, this will have an AMD Ryzen Surface Edition chip this is a custom edition for the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 um, they also will have a 20% larger trackpad um, the feet this will feature a quad core 10th generation Intel chip um, based on the 10 nanometer um, this is Microsoft is claiming this is going to be two times faster than the Surface Laptop 2 uh, to put that into perspective, it's also saying that it's going to be three times faster than the MacBook Air. All right, um, the newest thing about it is it's 15 inches this time around, which is a big plus. Um, it also features a fast charging battery. Uh, Microsoft is claiming that this is going to give you an 80% charge in under hour. Now, we are getting into the mobile range with that, which is good that you can have a laptop that you can charge up in about an hour and under an hour and get a um, all day battery life, that is pretty good. Um, this will be coming out October 22nd, and it is starting at $999 for the 13-inch version and $1199 for the 15-inch version. Again, you can configure these and get your price point probably all the way up there, um, depending on what you get. Um, the 15-inch is the version that has the graphics surface edition uh, graphics card with that. Um, just a little note, the 15 inch version is the one that has the Radeon um, graphics Microsoft Surface Edition chip into that. All right, up next, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. So the newest feature is the USB-C port that they finally added to the device. Um, a lot of Surface Pro users have been asking for that, so that is good to see. Um, a faster Intel chip is gonna be in that. Um, and that's pretty much all for the Surface Pro 7. Um, who is this for? If you're a Surface Pro 6 user and you like that line, then this is going to be for you. This is pretty much just a refresh of the Surface Pro 6. It has pretty much the same design as everything else. Just the USB-C, which is a big thing added, and the newest Intel chip. Um, so yeah, if you're a Pro 6 owner, then this will be right up your alley. All right, up next. We are looking at the Surface Pro X. Now this is a new laptop that Microsoft is um, adding to the Surface device. Now this one will be a ARM-based um, system. The Microsoft is jumping back into the arm base. See how that's going to go this time around. A little bit about the chipset. It is a seven nanometer. Um, it has seven watts of power, um, eight core processor with a three gigahertz Cairo CPU. Um, it's going to have 2.1 teraflops of GPU performance. Uh, Microsoft is saying that this is going to be the fastest chip in this class of Windows on Snapdragon devices. and says that the Pro X is three times more performant per watt than the Surface Pro 6. So this is probably a, a device for more of the higher end Pro user who wants to take that step to the next level. Another cool thing they're going to add is this new rechargeable Surface Slim pin. As you can see here, it actually tucks into the type cover and then it charges right there. So you can just put it out whenever you're ready. It's there for you. Um, this will allow you to connect up to two external 4K displays. Um, it's going to be 5.3 millimeters thick. 1.68 pounds, so very light. Um, LTE is integrated in that. Um, this is going to start at $999. But let's look at some of the hidden costs that will accompany this. Um, so the type cover is sold separately, and that's going to, I believe, start at, or will be um, $139.99. 
as well as the Surface Slim Pen, which is also sold separately. That's going to be $144.99. Uh, Microsoft will offer a bundle of these two for $269.99. So right there, your cost automatically jump up to about $1,300 there. So that's something to keep um, a note of. But I, I do like the pen. I think it's pretty dope. I love what they're doing with it. I love how you can just hide it right inside the, the type cover case and, and it's already it's charging, stored securely and ready and available for use. Okay, up next, Microsoft is jumping into the earbud markets with their Surface Buds. Um, cool feature about that, that it does feature touch navigation um, right there on the, the device itself, gesture control and voice enabled as well. Right there on the circle design, which is kind of weird, but that's for another day. Um, it will um, allow dictation in over 60 languages. It obviously has a, a charging case to go with it, which is pretty standard for any earbuds nowadays. Um, they will retail for $249.99. I think they will be available later this year, probably around November. Um, so that is Microsoft entering the earbud market. So we'll see how the sound on these are and will they be able to compete with um, what's already out there in the market. So keep your ears tuned for that. All right, on to some device that I am really excited about. Uh, Microsoft showed off some brand new devices. Um, who we rumored that they were going to be getting into the dual screen um, arena and they unveiled the Surface Neo. So this is going to be a device that has two screens, two nine inch screens on your device. As you will see here, it does feature, like I said, two nine inch screens. They're not one screen together. So it's going to have a line down the middle. Um, I kind of like that design. It, uh, the way they are designing that, it looks a lot cleaner, um, a lot tighter form factor. So I'm loving that design. I'm a little bit about the device. It will be about 655 grams. Um, it has Windows 10X, which is designed for dual screen devices. I mean, it features the Intel Lake file processor, and this is going to be coming out holiday 2020. So this is an early look at a device that's a year away. <clears throat> so just to get the word out and excitement out, as you see there, it does have the pin. So it has a magnetic, magnetic back on there where the pin just attaches to it. And it also has a keyboard that's also magnetic and attached to the device. And it offers some very cool features there. Once you put the keyboard on the screen, it automatically shifts and the, un the portion that is not covered by the keyboard becomes a second screen for you. Um, very cool design. I love how they are integrating that with the Windows 10 X. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on this device once this does come out. Um, again, this is a competitor in the dual screen laptop space. So pretty interesting to see what the price is going to be on that. Obviously it's going to be north of 2000 just because of the dual screen. So very excited for this device. But Microsoft was not finished with dual screen devices. Now we've heard rumors that they were trying to get into the uh, mobile phone space. Well, that is true. Microsoft is announcing the Surface Duo phone. This is going to be a dual screen phone. Um, a la, it's a competitor to the Galaxy Fold. As you can see here, this is going to be, again, two separate screens, not one screen together, which again, I like that design. Complete 360 um, hinge on there. <clears throat> um, this is going to be a 5.6 inch screens. Um, it's going to have Google Android working on that um, device. So good that it's not a Windows phone um, OS. So I'm glad that they're going with Android so you can get all the goods and the benefits from the Android market. Um, again, this is another holiday 2020 device. So early look at it just to get the excitement out there. Um, since this is um, a phone competing with the Galaxy Fold, I don't think it's going to cost as much since it's just two separate screens and not one screen. So I'm going to say it's probably less than two grand. So we will see what um, the price will be once that comes out in holiday 2020. So again, very excited about this device. It's clean. I love the design of, of it. Uh, the form factor, really neat. Microsoft really knocked out the, 
Microsoft really knocked it out of the park with this design on this device. So very excited about the Duo. All right, folks. Microsoft knocked out the park. They killed it. Let me know down in the comment section which of these devices are you excited about. And since you made it to the end of this video, you obviously liked it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and make sure you follow me on my social media accounts. And until the next video, guys, stay nerdy.